What's going on YouTube? It's Sir Ted 2 back in with another video, another throwback for you. Uh, yeah, some of y'all know him as Captain Bucky O'Hara, or you can call him Bucky O'Hara. Uh, they had a small cartoon run, one season. Uh, it was called Bucky O'Hara and the Toad Wars. It used to come on like right after Street Sharks and Bite Mice from Mars. Uh, it really didn't do too well because of they tried fill the tents with animals like, well, I guess Yusagi Ujimbo because they had a pilot for him and that didn't go nowhere. And then Bucky O'Hara toys really didn't sell that well at first, but now they're really selling and that's really the comic books are selling. So, back on guest commentary with me is my cousin, Quamir, or you can call him the anime kid. Talk to him, young boy. What's up, YouTube? So, which have you ever watched Bucky the Hero, or have you played the game? Um, uh, no, I was a Star Fox kid. True. Ah, you was. Yeah, yeah. I can see you being Star Fox kid. It, like, it was basically, it was basically the same type of plot line, but different in a way. Like, Buck O'Hare was just basically a captain of his own fleet. You had him, you had Dead Eye Duck, uh, you had the Bazooka Gorilla, uh, you had the little fox chick that psychic, like, she was getting her Jean Grey on, and you had the little the Blink, the little robot, and then you had the human dude when the Bazooka Gorilla got trapped in limbo. It was weird when you read, when you watch the cartoon at first, but... He basically was an alien form of a, a rabbit that had a great leaping ability, which made me think he was black. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a it was a cool cartoon. I like that had all the toys. I just recently reread the comic. I have to get two more issues. I think there was more. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, the, it was. I don't remember the um, the creators of the comic book. Not the creator of the comic book, but who produced the comic book for them. But it was a small run. Uh, I think you should watch it. It's on YouTube. You can find them. Right along with Wildcats and Cowboys and Moon Mesa. I don't know if you remember Cowboys and Moon Mesa. Uh long run too or? and then they had a couple of seasons I really did. they had a couple yeah. of seasons I kind of missed cause like cause like back when I was a kid uh, mostly what I watched what I caught mostly was stuff that was on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network most of the time so like cause that's what everybody watched where I was from where I was at so like that's what I stuck with kind of see Cowboys and Moon Mesa came out around the town. TMT was on uh, ABC, ABC Kid, mm -hmm. right along with Tom and Jerry Kids, uh, the Flintstone Kids, uh, Pup Man, Scooby Doo. Well, ABC had the whole cartoon block in the morning. Okay. And Cowboy, that's when TMT met Kino and then it became dark and then when all the villains came together like Leatherhead, uh, What's the robot name? Not Metalhead, but um, the other robot. I can't think of his fucking name. Uh, the Renegade. Uh, Bounty Hunter from the, um, the Turtle Planet and shit. I can't think of his name. But it came around that time. and um, It was actually a good cartoon. It was like an old western style cartoon and I think they actually had a crossover episode. It was either a crossover episode or it was just the comics. But Cowboys and Mesa was it was cool. It was just like first it started off with three bulls as well male cows if you wanna call them as like mutated like almost human like you had uh the Colorado kid I can't think of all their names right now but I just I drew them like a long time ago on my main channel. And I don't know, man. I might draw them again. It was a lot of work. Yeah, I couldn't like tell you exactly what happened in the show or anything like that. Hey. It was... 
I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying to see how I can explain to you. Uh, you seen um uh, Batman Brave and uh, Bold and whatever the fuck his um uh, the Batman animated series was when he was like boxy looking face. He had the boxy looking face. Mm-hmm. Uh, you remember when he went back in town with Dark Side or Dark Seed or whatever the fuck you want to call him? Or the Mongolian, whatever you want to call him, bro. Took him back to the planet, and, well, not back to the planet, when he went back to the Old West and he met up with Jonah Hicks. It's like. Yeah, I kind of remember that. Yeah. It's like that type of style of cartoon, but before his time. So I guess it, it probably didn't catch on with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But it was, it was a good cartoon. You can find that on YouTube too. Okay. The sad part is though, I remember. I do remember the stuff like Street Sharks though. Street Sharks was that shit. Yes, I used to love watching that show. Then like, um, like what's the other one? You know the one with the, the, the dinosaurs. Oh yeah, Extreme Dinosaurs. Yeah, Extreme Dinosaurs. That's what they call. It. Yeah, it's, I used to like. I used to love their toys. Like that's what got me hooked on them. That's what it was. Like I think they, I think them and Street Sharks had a crossover issue, a cross not yeah, crossover issue, but a crossover um cur- like episode. Yeah, I remember they did that. That was pretty cool though, because it, that, like you bored. I wish they would have did that with all of them. Like they would have brought in like uh, T uh, TMT meets Biker Mice from Mars or Biker. Or no, basically TMT meets Street Sharks because you know they made reference to each other in each cartoon, especially Street yeah. Sharks. Yeah, especially because they did basically the same thing almost. Like um, the only difference was instead of pizza, they eat trash all the time or something like that. They would eat anything. Well, Street Sharks would eat anything. Yeah. Now, basically, no, what they ate were um, bur- I think it was either burgers because you know each like cartoon had like they certain type of food that I think Extreme Dinosaur was the only one that didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. He saw the hedgehog. He liked chili dogs. Yeah, he was his was chili him and Tails was chili dogs. Biker Mice from Mars was hot dogs and root beer. Mm-hmm. Uh Street Sharks was hamburger I think it was hamburgers, if I'm not mistaken. Because their first episode they went to go to the uh hamburger stand and that's when they mutated into the sharks. I kind of like the later seasons of um, Street Sharks when they became even more mutated, when Jabs became like that trans metal, like almost like Transformers. Like it was like no cartoons were before the time, and I think they should be redone. Mm hmm, probably, but it's kind of like we're, we're kind of out of. I don't know, I'm trying to say, like, this generation is kind of out of like the, the animal human transformation things, like. Ninja Turtles will, st- will still be good, or whatever, because Ninja Turtles is, like considered timeless now. But the thing it's about the <laughs> but the thing about it though, uh, Barker, they even gave they gave redid Barker Mike from Mars like in two thousand, running around the town. TMT had that big run in two thousand with um, and we gonna get back on TMT, but yeah, they redid that and they redid Sonic. Then you had Sonic X. Which I really didn't care for, but it was good because the Chaotic series was my be- the best series that I seen out of the whole thing. Yeah, but you can't like, go you can't go wrong with the classic Sonic though. Mm mm. They're never gonna go back to the classic Sonic though. They're gonna stick with um with the newer version now though. Yeah, you got like, a new one coming out soon called Sonic Boom or some shit like that. Yeah, like, he's like they made them all hipster looking like. Knuckles is the big guy of the group. Well, Knuckles was always the tough, the, the hard-headed, tough-headed, tough but guy. He was like group. Jack, though. Like he was never like huge. He just had like big. It's like they took away his knuckles and gave him muscles, basically. Basically, they have muscles now. Basically, muscles what they did. Them. I don't, I don't get it, but hopefully the cartoon will be good. But I, I when I see Sonic, I always think of Jaleel White. Because your little white played Sonic great. He did all three of the original cartoons. What, Sonic Underground? Yeah. He did all three of the voices of Sonic Underground. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sonic, the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. When yeah. it was like the Freedom Fighters and shit. And then you had the regular Sonic the Hedgehog with him and um, Botan. Yeah. yeah. But, I didn't like that one, though. That one, I tried rewatching that now, and it was just stupid. 
It, it was stupid because it was like for the younger ages, but it still had its funny moments. Mm-hmm. You, I think you would probably like the Signing Underground and the Avengers of Signing the Hedgehog because yeah. Doctor Robotnik got real dark. Exactly. But uh, fucking, I would like to see. That's what we need to talk about on the, the new channel. We're gonna the, the channel we're gonna start. I think we should call that shit uh, cartoons and comic book comic talk or whatever the fuck we're gonna come up with a name for it. But it's like some cartoons that need to be revamped. Uh, Mega Man should be revamped. Uh, they should give him. They should give the the backstory of Proto Man, even though Proto Man was never really named Proto Man. I guess they named him that for the. They started naming him Proto Man after that. Um, what was it? The NT Warriors series. That's when he started just getting that name as Proto Man. Uh, but in the comic book, they called him Break Man the whole time. Or they called yeah. him Blues. Yeah. Because uh, he was the prodigal son of, um, mm-hmm. not Dr. Wally, but what's the dude's name? I can't think of his name right now. Yeah. But the comic book issue that Archie put out with him and the Worlds Collide was Sonic the Hedgehog. And I read the prelude. It's pretty good. And I can't wait to read the other issues that they, they have. It. So, you got to catch up on that one. You gonna like that? Yeah, I'm very sad. Cause you're a big Proto Man. Like they made Break Man, well Proto Man in the comic book. I'm gonna call it Proto Man for you, <laughs> cause I know him as Break Man. They made him dope. Like, like mm-hmm. guts man. Like you see guts man and bomber man and uh. They got they got Sitter man. And you got cuts man. Like you see them three in the prelude. And it's, it's all dope. And, like, the way they set it up in the prelude is that somehow Dr. Robotnik and Dr. Wally is about to join forces in a way. Mm-hmm. Which I think is going to be dope. And then you got, uh, Sh- you got, it's go- then they got the little breakup issues. You got Shadow with the other dude. Uh, Knuckles had an issue with, uh, I think it was Breakman or Gut- oh, Gutsman, one of them. Mm-hmm. It's pretty dope, man. But Street Sharks definitely need to re- be redone because I think they can force that down a new gener- the newer generation throats it a bit. Like, uh, cause like with us when we was younger, they put battle tools, not the battle tools that we know today. But they put some a, a form of the battle tools in TMNT. You remember you had Rasputius and yeah, and uh, what they had all them ancient Roman not Roman names but ancient Greek names and some shit like that. Yeah, they had names of the Ninja Turtles all named after famous artists, and then like they kind of like I know some of them was named after like philosophers and stuff like that. Like they kind of went there with it. But uh, yeah, man, it was it was cool. I think, because the better toes that we know today, you got Rash, you got Pimple. And I can't remember, I can't think of the other one, man. That cartoon was actually nice. It had a weird origin story, but it was actually nice. Yeah. Double Dragons need to be redone. I think you could force that down a new generation. The way you can introduce Street Sharks again, make it CGI just like TMNT. Yeah. And have them do a crossover, a crossover episode to introduce them. They could modernize Captain Planet. Shoot. You want Captain I'm, Planet, man. I mean, they could. I mean, like, like think about it. Everybody's on this green movement now anyway. Like, everybody's all about recycling and saving the planet now anyways. What better way to do it than Captain Planet yet again? I mean... But... You can't force that in a kid. You can't force that in a kid mind nowadays. I mean, I can go on that whole green movement and pollution thing, but I ain't gonna go into it because it's deeper than what what they what you see. But um, no, the truth is, like, I just want to do it because I remember. I ain't gonna lie. I remember as a kid when we would play, like you know, we would play Captain Planet. Everybody had to fight to be who they were. Like, like in my neighborhood, I was the only black guy, so of course I was Kwame. So I had Earth. Oh, well, that was also I thought it was funny because his name is similar to mine. The only difference is the R is like add another R and an E to his name, and then you got my name. But um, 
I was Kwame, but then like you will always have that, that them two kids fighting over who had to be Mati. You know the guy who had heart. <laughs> yeah, nobody wanted to be Mati. I even seen that in that what you call him, Nate Vlogs video. He was talking about nobody wanted to be the Asian guy. I'm like that was kind of racist. It I was. Mean, I mean, but he had a shitty ass ring. Who wanted to be the heart? But you needed all five. What was five of them? You needed all the rings to yeah. be together to get that. I mean, he was like, it was like he. It was really like it was like Nate Vlog said though. He he said it. He said, but T was basically there for the sole purpose of summoning Captain Planet. Other than that, he could just sit in the car. And that was wait. basically that was basically what he was useful for. I mean. I don't know. Maybe Captain Planet, they can redo, reintroduce Captain Planet and try it. But I doubt if they do. I but doubt if they made it out of the first season before they cancel it. Mm-hmm. Like Young Everybody Justice. Everybody forgets about that AIDS episode, though, they had, too. They had that? Yeah, they had an AIDS episode. They had an episode where, um, where there was this new student going to school. And he had AIDS. He was he was diagnosed with AIDS. And um, you know the bad guy. I can't remember his name. The main one, the rich bad guy, the oil baron. All right. Yeah, he was. Um, he would go around and start spreading um, spreading rumors and stuff um, about the kid with the with AIDS and everything, and like turn turn the people against him, trying to riot against him. Then they summon Captain Planet. And he he. It's basically educating people about AIDS. Because, you know, back in the 90s, it was still kind of relatively new. Like, they was really kind of just figuring out what it was exactly. Thank you, Ted Turner. I don't remember that episode. Because, like, like I said, it was the first thing that came in the morning. They probably, and when they it probably came don't on, show it in syndication anymore, though, either, though. Because, yeah, they, you know, they, 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 they stopped showing Captain Planet a long time ago. Because I remember when they used to come on. On Cartoon Network, first thing I wake up to when I'm getting ready for school, then I switch over to Dragon Ball on, on WB. Yeah. You forget Dragon Ball was on WB first when the Ocean Group used to do it. WB had a lot of cartoons, man. I would love to see, like I said, Street Sharks, Barker Mars and Mars, they did it. They remade that already, but they should redo Extreme Dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Uh... The mask. They should definitely do the mask. But if they did the mask, I would rather have the comic version of the mask than the Jim Carrey version of the mask. But the comic version was a whole lot darker. Yeah, I would like to see them do to redo the Ace Ventura cartoon. Yeah. That was actually funny. Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, the Back to the Future cartoon. Like, they redid it. Like, But it's like on Adult Swim. It's called Rick and Morty. Yeah, I haven't watched it. People say they like it, and I I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Like, the, the, it's actually pretty funny. It's a different type of humor. It's like it's probably it's adult not humor. Guy, it's not you know Futurama or nothing like that. It's got his own brand of comedy in there. I don't know, man. It's a lot of cartoons that we used to watch that just didn't get the 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 praise. I would like to see Gargoyles be redone. Oh yeah. They should, but I don't. I don't think Disney would do it. Honestly, I think it's good as I think it was as good as it was. Because mm-hmm. I don't think you can redo that, to be honest. Unless you make it a movie. Mm-hmm. Darkwing. Yeah, I can see Darkwing Duck being redone. Yeah, I was going to say like the only problem with Gargoyles is. is Disney, you know, Disney's not taking too many risks with anything now. They don't make too many PG-13 movies or whatever. And, you know, Gargoyles will have to be something that's PG-13. There's no getting around that. The Gargoyles was dark as shit, to be honest. It was a dark cartoon. It was around, it came around a period where a lot of cartoons were dark. Even Batman had a, the animated series had a fucking dark run. That was dark. That was the first time we seen guns in a cartoon. Other than yeah, any teams. That's why I see these kids, these kids shows now, and I'd be like, they're the stupidest thing ever. Like, who would watch this? Because it's like, to me, it's not real no more. Like, it takes away that sense of realism, and then it puts kids in a, it puts kids in a world of fantasy. So, like, when a kid actually does see a gun, they don't realize what a gun actually does to people. Like, when you shoot, when you pull that trigger. 
Yeah. Or whatever. Oh, they perfect. thinking it's like lasers gonna shoot out the out the gun or something. They're gonna get zapped and stunned, and they're gonna pass out, and everybody's they're gonna wake up or come back to life like the like the next day. Nah, it don't work like that. Once you shoot a gun in real life, you dead. That's if you make it. Exactly. But yeah, exactly. I would like to see Mighty Max remade over. Oh my god, I still remember the toys. I never liked the show, but I loved the little toys when they used to have the little mini setup and you had like little traps you could get set up in. Oh boy, those were the good old days. Creepy crawlers, I could see the cartoon being redone over. Mm-hmm. It was a, you know what I, that was another hidden gem that people didn't really get into. That was like one of the era, it came out at the same time Mummies Alive came out. Yeah, well, creepy crawlers. The thing about that is that it was um. It was a it was a toy line more, so they just really made the toy to sell the products. Once they kind of stopped selling the products, the kind of the toy line just had to go. They kind of took a risk with that though, with the cartoon, which was it was actually a good cartoon. It was like one of them hidden gems, like Mummies Alive, as again, but Mummies Alive should be redone because it had a twist, like you bring in. Egyptian guys back to live basically in mummy form as crown fighters. Yeah. It was pretty dope just, to me. Yeah, it was a good concept that just didn't have the right, probably didn't have the right block and setting and time. And plus it but, was too dark for people. But you know what I would remake, to tell you the truth? I would remake The Land Before Time. And that's because like, like for its time when it came out, it was considered dark. They actually, they actually took a lot of scenes out from like what's on TV now. From the original cut, because they showed like it was a whole lot more gruesome, and before it got all kid and cartoony with the sequels, the original, I could see them remaking that as a live action or CGI type thing. Like it was like um, what's it called? What's that shit called? Yeah, but they just did Jurassic Park. (laughs) But I don't know, man. It's a lot of cartoons that should be redone. Men in Black should come back with another cartoon. It says, um, Harold Ramis died. He, they should bring back a, a number. I heard they're making a Ghostbusters 3, as a matter of fact, now, too. They should bring back a, the real Ghostbusters cartoon. You remember the other Ghostbusters cartoon with the car? The one that had nothing to do with Ghostbusters? Yeah, that shit was retarded. Yeah, it was. Like, the car was a pervert the whole time. Mm-hmm. Every time he came up to some type of mechanical object, he was a pervert. Not uh, speaking of old cartoons like Scooby Doo, been remade over. Have you watched the new Scooby Doo? I watch some of the new Scooby Doo's. Like they make a new season every year, every two years. So like it's hard to keep up. The best it was that this it was actually good because it was showed you them the the introduction of Mystery Inc. or why they became Mystery Inc. and they showed you how. Fred still ignored Daphne even though they became got into a relationship and how Shaggy was dating Velma and Velma used to hate Scooby. Yeah. Cause Shaggy was spending all his time with Scooby or whatever. But that's his dog. That's his man's yeah. best friend and then the other thing, I would like to see a pup named Scooby Doo redone. Yeah. A pup named Scooby Doo was cool. You can redo that or re enhance it. And introduce it to the younger audience, the younger kids, because you know the younger kids in the Scooby Doo. Get rid of SpongeBob, man. Like, they ain't never gonna get rid of SpongeBob, but. No, SpongeBob is Nickelodeon's Mickey Mouse. It's trademark. He's not going anywhere, ever. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something they should make it to a series. It's not necessarily, it wouldn't necessarily be a kid's, it definitely wouldn't be a kid's show. Or whatever, but if they made like a cartoon series based on this or CGI or something like that, I would the, I would like to see an Alien vs. Predator television series. Or whatever, with the main storyline going through that, like the war between the aliens and the Predators. The Alien and Predator movie did well. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they're supposed to be doing another one, right? Um, Not that I know of. I don't know any of that. Like, they're, they're working on right because the second one, the sequel they made, and that's because I think they just kind of rushed. They, they didn't rush it because it came out like four years after the original one came out. But like they just didn't put it together well. It was like kind of, it was kind of like okay, we got the L, we got the Predator, then we 
get a bunch of, we don't have a, we wasted all of our budget on the CGI and special effects. So now let's get a bunch of, of, of not no name actors, but like, you know, low level actors that like, you know, that won't really bring in an audience, not t- talking about their acting ability, but like the names when you wouldn't hear their name and just be like, oh yeah. Yeah, he's in it. Like you know, like like the first, the last Alien vs. Predator had Snot Lake in it. Yeah. Um, and they had a Christopher Christopher Walken was he in it? I'm not sure. I, Cause I remember the old regular uh, like if you're going to do that type of stuff, you should have cameos of the old people that other people that was in like the they, old Alien movies. The first one. The first one did. Remember the Alien movie? Uh, as a matter of fact, I believe it was Christopher Walken. I mean, I'm. I could be wrong. I think I'm pretty sure it was Christopher Walken who did it. But um, but remember the first Alien movie? No, or the was it the second one? Second Alien movie. Second Alien movie. The Android. Yeah. Um, the you remember the old guy who um plays Wayland? Yeah. In the first movie. Yeah. He played the he played the Android in the second movie. But I'm saying like like if you're gonna do that, do like cameos like. Have Arnold make a cameo. Arnold Schwarzenegger make a cameo, or mm-hmm. Danny Glover make a cameo. Well, think about the t- at the time. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was um, what was he doing? He was in he was he was in office as a matter of fact. He was the governor at that time of California, so you know he wasn't doing any movies. Danny Glover, I don't know. He probably didn't have no big enough budget for Danny Glover. Wasn't uh, Jesse Ventura in was in the original Predator movie? Yep. He ain't doing shit now, but been doing his conspiracy shit, which is yep. awesome. Every, but he everything's just, a conspiracy to him. The water flowing through your pipes has a conspiracy somewhere in it. Shoot. Well, the some of the stuff that he puts out there is is, is shit that we should know about. But yeah, true. Too, some, our generation too stupid to even listen. So it's, it's that's like beat. He had a show, but didn't do well. It did remember. well. They just. He was exposing too much truth, so they cut it short. Like, you know, once you expose the truth, they gotta clip the cord. But uh, well, I mean, I should know the government high stuff. Everybody should know that. Like, our generation like, is our generation too stupid to even know that. Like, I keep telling people that our oldest, like, we still have dinosaurs that live. Our oldest dinosaur is the crocodile. Exactly. And people the chicken. Birds. Birds are technically considered dinosaurs. And the chicken. The chicken is basically the old, like one of the oldest. Mm-hmm. But that's like beating a drum with no center. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not going to listen, man. It's all scandal. This. I mean, I'm not going to go into scandal. I mean, because scandal. Scandal's, but scandal's true. Like, I mean, that's what they really, if people don't understand, like people are getting into it thinking it's a story. No, that stuff really happens. Like, that's the stuff that you said, uh, that Stephen Ventura was talking about. That stuff really happens where they go through all that. They be setting all them things up like it's the truth or whatever. It's not just um, entertainment. Oh, we're going to get off Scandal for a minute. But it seems that with Scandal and the other show being there, Jane, it's like every yeah. woman that likes those shows are mainly like the side chick in every mm-hmm. relationship. And it's like... <laughs> Kerry Washington and Gabrielle Union. Kerry Washington is actually a great actor. I like her more than Gabrielle Union because Gabrielle Union sucked to me. It's like every role she played, she played a side chick. And they both play the side chick a lot. And it, it kind of bugs me. But I guess that's with Hollywood direction that Hollywood, Hollywood is going into. Yeah. They're going to make more black women the side female or the mistress or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But. Mm-hmm. I can care less about it. I don't watch TV show. I barely watch TV, so. Mm, yeah, my mom. My mom loves Scandal. She watches that faithfully. Yeah, man. I rather watch some old cartoons. I just downloaded the second season of a pup named Scooby Doo. Off of iTunes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find some other shit. I'm trying to find uh, Tom and. Remember Tom and Jerry Kids? Yeah. Remember Droopy and Dripple? I think it was Droopy Master, De- Droopy Master Detective with his mm-hmm. son Dripple. That was actually a good cartoon. 
Yeah, that was good. But that's a, once again, that was another one shot back in the '80s that they kind of did. That's really all it boiled down to. The that's when the, the juggernauts. That's when the big juggernauts at the time, because it wasn't Disney at the time. Even though Disney did what they did, the mm-hmm. real juggernauts was Chuck Avery and Hanna Bar- the Hanna Barbera group. Yeah. Who else? What else was? Um, well, Warner Brothers at the time was doing anything too with uh, Looney Tunes and Tiny Tunes. Yeah. Oh, they they broke they broke out with um with the Tiny Tunes and the Animaniacs series. Yeah. I never I always I never appreciate the Animaniacs as a kid, but now that I watch it, I understand what it did for the modern cartoon now. Yeah. Then you bit. got then you had Freakazoid. Freakazoid was behind it. Be, before yeah. it's time, because that was made was by a, WB too. There was a lot of adult humor, and he made references to movies, and he had a lot of actors, like character actors, in there. And then he made references to other cartoons that people didn't really get, because he there was a lot of adult content. So was um, Animaniacs, yeah. um, Droopy, the Master Detective. Yeah. That was definitely a lot of adult content because. Droopy, if you remember the original Droopy cartoons and Tex Avery Wolf, they used to they used to drool over the girl that was singing. I, I can't remember her name. She was like Jessica Rabbit almost for them. Yeah. But I would like to see Muppet Babies come back. Yeah. And redone. Well, they're not going to do the Muppet Babies because the people are too busy on stuck on the Muppet show, actually, the actual Muppets now. So, like, they don't really need us off the I think that's Muppets, how, Muppets. That's is, how they're looking at it. Muppets had his time, and I think it's time to retire them. I don't think we need to keep seeing Muppets stuff right now. So it's time Disney to retire will, them. will ride that money train until they can't run it no more. Hey, that's true. I mean, they got a. I'm not gonna say Disney has sucked over there. They actually became good with a couple more cartoons. Like this morning, I was watching this, this show. It's like CGI. They call it Slug Terror. It's actually cool. I was watching it because I woke up at fucking 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why, like a fucking weirdo. Mm-hmm. And I was just on Disney XD and I was watching it. So, I mean, Disney still got their stuff. They always, they always got their go-to with the three, the three Musketeers with uh, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. They should do... Re- that's another one that they should redo. Goof Troops. Goof Troops, I think you can introduce that to a younger audience and have it catch on. They would have to remake the Goofy movie for that. They have to do another Goofy movie for that, I yeah. think. They can reintroduce DuckTales. Oh, yeah. DuckTales is always a good one to go with. Um, Disney, if I was to do it, I would do um, the Jungle Book Friends again. Yeah. Oh, you talk about um, Tailspin? No, 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 I tell not Tailspin. Oh, you it's talk um, about the um, the Jungle Book with the monkey? I can't think of the name. Yeah, when they was all kids, it was um, Jungle Book was, Kids. That's what it was. I think that's what it yeah. was. Yeah. I don't remember what you're talking about because it was actually cool. It was actually a cool cartoon. Mm-hmm. See, you 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 was more on the di- you like. You know your Disney cartoon history. I'm still no. kind of new with Disney. Like I knew the, the the big names that we know: Tailspin, mm-hmm. Chippendale, uh, Donald, not Donald Duck, but um, yeah. Goo Troops, Tailspin. Well, I said Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, uh, Duck Tales, and what Mickey Playhouse? Not Mickey Playhouse, but um, the House of Mouse. House of Mouse. And Gargoyles, well, Gargoyles, Gargoyles was, didn't Gargoyles play on WB for a while? Or was it always Disney? Gargoyles was, was, was owned by Disney. It's, uh, it's like, Disney owns them all together. I think they may have played them on um, Kids WB at one point. I'm not sure. Like, they got, I think, overall, Disney still owns the Gargoyle franchise. Which, once again, I will say they need to bring back. They need to make a live-action movie about. Because that was one of the best shows they ever had. And the reason why they came up with that show was um, to compete with WB's Batman at the time. Because yeah, Batman the was series. kicking ass. 
Yeah, the animated huh? series. You talking about the animated series? Yeah, the animated series for Batman. It was kicking ass at the time. So and and people felt that um the the Saturday morning lineup for Disney was too kitty and cartoony, and they was liking the dark tone of Batman better. They didn't gargoyles had like six seasons. They had three. They had two seasons, two regular seasons. Then they have another season called the Goliath Chronicles. I think one. I think all, every season they had was like twenty four episodes. I think, if I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah. they were some long seasons, but they were good. Like even the filler episodes when you had Brooklyn, and mm-hmm. um, I can't think of the other two right now. Bronx and what's the mm-hmm. other one? That the little one. Oh, what the fuck is this? Um, name? Lexington. Lexington. They are named after either either um, neighborhoods um, or landmarks of, of New York City. Yeah, except like, for the even the filler episodes with those, they were actually good. Yep. Like, you didn't, they didn't feel like filler episodes. Like, like when Goliath was away and Brooklyn had to take control of, um, had, had to, was the second leader of the Klan. Yeah. I mean, if they're going to do a live action movie of it, uh, take the Marvel Comics, reread yeah. the Marvel Comics version of the Gargoyles and take that and make it into a movie. Mm-hmm. With a little bit of a Disney twist. Yep. Since they own you know, Marvel now. But think about it, Marvel's in a deal with Disney anyway, so that's perfect. They own them. So, I mean... I mean, they own Marvel, but some certain properties are still on, like other like TV, not TV companies, but other companies on, like Fox, own mm-hmm. what Spider Man and X Men. No, because they gotta. Well, they pro- I'll probably say the X Men. They their X Men and their Spider Man, but overall, like they still own the rights to the to the Disney owns the rights to most of them, and I know Marvel also has a deal with the anime. The anime section too. I mean, the thing about Marvel, they like their movies never suck. Like DC makes some good animated cartoon movies, but, but whatever in Japan. But Marvel can take a movie, a, a turn into a cartoon, and it still be awesome. Yeah. I'm just saying, if the Gargoyles, think of the Gargoyles movie, they had the um, Avengers budget, for instance. If they had the time to take it, I think it would be good. Yeah, give it some years. Like, they let, don't don't rush it. Give them like a, a two, three year run. Not, not two, three year, but give me a couple years to make it and get it right. Get the voice actor. Get Keith Davis. You got to get Keith Davis as Goliath. I'm Nobody sorry. else. That's like that's like having another Optimus Prime. Like you'll watch it, but you know that's not Optimus Prime. I mean, even if you, even if you don't get Keith Davis, get it Michael uh, Michael Richards. Yeah, get so. him to do it, or some somebody that has that deep voice that can bring you in. And and like, and the other thing, I was watching WrestleMania. Let me jump into wrestling real quick. I was watching Russell one of the WrestleManias. Couple of WrestleManias where he did the the prologue for a couple of. Oh, you talking about him, Keith David? Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. that was crazy. I didn't even realize it was him until I recognized his voice because you know how he mm-hmm. say certain things with a certain meaning and, and the way it comes across, and, mm-hmm. and, and it's kind of crazy. And then another cartoon, I'm jumping around. Now. Another cartoon that needs to come back is Tim Rob Pizza Cast. I really think they can go over big with the kids nowadays. Because that was another cartoon which is the reason why I like Pizza to this day is mm-hmm. you had TMNT first and then you had the Samurai Pizza Cats. Mm-hmm. So, um, but who owns that? So, it was Saban. Saban, yeah, he ain't going to bring that back because he's, he's too busy milking the cash cow that is known as Power Rangers. Which I, I think they need to get it or us. They're not because you know why? Because you're always going to have five-year-old kids. And the Japanese are still making their I don't know I forget what they call the Power Rangers there, which is which is a whole which is also funny because like theirs is a whole lot darker too. Like in the Japanese version, the Green Ranger dies, he gets yeah. killed. Yeah. But um, but as long as the Japanese keep making their things, and then he takes their stock footage and Americanizes it, and five year old boys still watch it, yeah, boy, 
He's he's not letting go of Power Rangers. I gotta Still say, going. I gotta say, Saban is probably one of the cheapest <laughs> creators ever because. But it works. It works <laughs> because it, we 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 were watching and then we get glued into it. Like, I haven't watched any of the new season of the new Power Rangers. I'm just yeah, not gonna get into it. But you know what? Always, I always found funny though, is when you watch the Power Rangers TV show. How like how like one be like six foot three, the other one be like five foot nothing, and then when they transform, they're all the same size. Yeah. When they their suits. And the funny thing about it, I think it was only one time when the black the uh, black man was the re- the leader of the group. Yeah. Remember that was Lost Galaxy. No, that was um SPD. It was SPD? No, it was Lost Galaxy. I think it was Lost Galaxy. No, nah, because in Lost, Ga- I think in Lost Galaxy, Tommy was no, that wasn't Tommy. That was um the other I think one. That it was, was me, though. I think it was a black. It was I think it was a black dude. If I'm not mistaken, check I'm checking right now. I'm about to Wikipedia it in there. Mm-hmm. What's his name? Um, what else was there? Um. Uh, Power Rangers, like we like we just said, Power Rangers is never gonna die. Like you said, it's always that demographic for them. But I th- for like the the nostalgic people, mm-hmm. they have to they have to go. Yeah, it was Lost Galaxy. His name is um, okay, Danny um, I can't think of his last name. It was Lost Galaxy because I remember watching Black Nerd Comedy. Like, the dude I was talking about last time, he did an interview. Like, he did an interview with all the Power Rangers. Like, he did an interview with Jason David Frank. Basically, all the Power Rangers. He did a, he did a panel with um the Powerpuff Girls. The um the voice actor for the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, that's cool. I gotta hit you. He did a panel with all that. Mm-hmm. The original all of that cast. And the only person that wasn't there was Keenan. I mean, Kel was there, but you had, uh, uh, what's the chick name? The chick that played Lydia, Lydia and, um, Steve Harvey show. She was there. Uh, I can't think of anybody else, man. That was cool, dang. But you know what's funny, though? I'll tell you who's making the most bank, who Power, who Power Rangers benefited the most out of any Power Ranger, and it was Jason David Frank. Because it's 20 years later. He still goes to comic book conventions dressed in his Green Ranger suit or his White Ranger suit. He still gets money. He still gets money for that. People still or like you know bl- they pay him to be the Green Ranger. Even his the Black Ranger suit when he was in um, Power Rangers Dino. Yeah, exactly. He just I, he just makes yeah he been yeah like you say he makes make he's probably like Saban's go to man if he want to make yeah. something popping again. They're actually trying to. They're, Actually, I think people are trying to get in the talks of trying to get him back to do another Power Rangers series. Like, whichever the next Power Ranger is, people saying they want Tommy to come back. Basically, no, what I heard was they were trying to get him to do a... What I heard in the interview that he was doing with um, Black Nerd Comedy, he was trying to get him to do his like own type of movie. Mm-hmm. Like a Green Ranger type movie. Like, you do a Green Ranger one-hour special or two-hour special. That actually kind of cool. Like, he was, um, like I said, the dude did an interview with LeVar, LeVar Burton. Uh, he actually recently did one with Vanilla Ice. He did? Yeah, he yeah. did. He broke out into the, the ninja rap dance and everything. But it was kind of crazy. Then he went to this party in Texas. It was like an honor of TMNT. And they had, uh, ooh. Fuck, what's his name? They had Ernie, not Ernie, uh, what's the dude? The dude that played Keno. His name Ernie, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, the dude that played Keno and he was in Surf Ninjas. He he was there. Uh, okay. Vanilla Ice was there. The dude that, uh, that did the original soundtrack for um, the first TMNT movie. I think it was either TMNT movie, the first one or the second one. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of their name. I can't think of their name right now. The one, the ones that sing um, T U R T L E Power. I can't think mm-hmm. of their fucking name right now. They they had Rob B set the party. Uh, Tone Lope. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like he was saying, like it would have been dope if Keen the dude that played Keno and Tone Lope got on the stage together because you know they was in Surf Ninjas together. Yeah. 
Surf Ninjas was a great, it was a cheesy movie, but it was a great movie for us. It was. It wasn't appreciated. Just like Warriors of Virtue wasn't appreciated. Mm-hmm. The only thing I never got with it was, um, was, what was it called? Um, when, uh, he, when he was controlling the Surf Ninjas and he was like, help his brother out or something. I never understood what that did, but the thing the controller did. Yeah, I didn't really understand that either. Yeah. And the words of virtue, it had the potential to be good. Like, the first one, it was good mainly because of the bad guy. Because he was, uh... Yeah, I've never... Was, uh, the best way to... I never watched crazy. the second movie. i never seen the second movie. I know they did a part two. But the words yeah, of virtue, I think, it was, it. I think it was around a time where they were just trying to push anim- mutated animals as comic book heroes and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I think at that time... We, we was kangarooed out because you remember there was kangaroos like I used to play the kangaroo and tank girl yeah so it was like we was kangarooed out like I think people was kangarooed out or animal out because there was a lot of yeah. fucking animals yeah, exactly. a lot of animals but everything comes back around you think about it Transformers um are coming back now cause now all of a sudden it's cool to have transforming cars again they turn into robots But so he's gonna come. Uh, yeah, I think like you said, everything's coming back to full circle. But I'm hoping TMT movie series is revamped. I hope we can get some good shit out of that. Like uh, Michael Bay, I hope he does. I still don't like the design of Ninja Turtles. Mm-mm. They look like. The original idea of how he was going to try and make Ninja Turtles like aliens almost. Mm-hmm. That's what they look like to me. Mm-hmm. Like hipster type aliens. And like, we, we went off into that, that tangent last time like about TMNT and how yeah. Next Mutation wasn't really that bad. It, only thing about TMNT Next Mutation that pissed people off was when they introduced Vita's. Venus de Malo. Which I yeah. didn't understand. They felt like they felt like they needed a female character for the girls to watch. That's basically what it boiled down to. That's what you had April O'Neil for, though. And April yeah. O'Neil wasn't even in the TMT Next Mutation. Mm, she sure enough wasn't. And the other thing I wanted to say to you, talk to you about, too, was the comic book. Remember I told you I got the movie comic book and I got an extra for you. I gotta mm-hmm. um, get your address and after we do the Samurai Piece of Cat um, video. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna send it to you. Like, it's like certain scenes that wasn't in the movie that's in the comic book. But um, we're gonna get back into that on the Samurai Piece of Cat uh, video. This video is about to end, cuz. So, you two, we check you later on the Samurai Piece of Cat video. Alright, cuz. Switch over to the next video. Alright.